AIC. Climate change is one of the most serious global challenges of our time. In western Kenya, weather observations indicate that maximum day temperatures have increased between 0.5 and 2.1 degrees centigrade in the last 50 years and are expected to increase further. Climate change has increased vulnerabilities in Kenya. Resource-poor farmers and communities are rendered vulnerable, often facing serious crop failures, income losses, and livelihood collapses. Kulima afaidike siku hizi, ni lazima angalie musimu huu ni musimu gani. Kuna musimu inakuwa na mvua kiasi, muda mrefu kiasi. Na kuna ingine kama saa hizi, Okepanda ne muda mfupi saidi. Lakini usiano ya kale, uwesi ukamba tanesa na ya sakuhizi. Sakale selekua na, na, na mvua muda mrefu na sikuhizi imebadilika kiasi kubwa. Siju imekua imedidimia marambili. Rain-fed agriculture, which accounts for 98% of the agricultural activities in the country, is very vulnerable. There were incidences of uh, uh, incidences of farmers experiencing related to climate change. We uh, initially get floods in the short rains, which was very unusual because we, we, we used to have uh, very short short rains. And again, we we'll also initially get uh, well extended. Uh, dry spells, they are not drought, they are actually dry spells, and uh, <coughs> uh, erratic in terms of timing of uh, production. Some challenges of climate change include intensified natural resource degradation, increased flooding, storms, excessive and erratic rainfall, droughts, invasive weeds, pest and disease epidemics, infrastructure damage, increased risk of resource conflicts, reduced agricultural production resulting to food insecurity. Farmers have therefore no alternative but to adjust their farming systems and at the same time consider other ways to mitigate risks and increase their resilience. With acknowledgement of the challenges being brought up by climate change, a project was started to assist farmers learn how to adapt to the changes. The Adaptation to Climate Change and Insurance SCCI project is a bilateral project between the Kenyan and German governments. It is funded by the German Federal Ministry of Environment and the Government of Kenya. The project started uh, in January 2011 and is ending in December 2013. So this project was initiated to address uh, those problems our farmers are facing and uh, it was uh, in three components. One was to look at adaptation measures that can help our farmers to, to cope with climate change in a better way. Uh, secondly was to look at uh, insurance issues where adaptation is not enough. And thirdly was to look at uh, a method to measure adaptation capacity of farmers. The project was implemented within Busia and Homa Bay counties. The strategies that uh, were arrived at to, to address drought were strategies like adaptive crops that are drought escaping, that, that are drought tolerant, that are heat tolerant, and some of these uh, strategies uh, included like uh, sweet potatoes, like uh, cassava, like uh, sorghum 
and also maize was also found to be very resilient because the genetic potential of maize is very broad. Other agricultural practices appropriate for adapting to climate change are conservation agriculture, soil fertility management, water conservation, agroforestry, diversification, and irrigation, among others. So today they are doing a demonstration on uh, a planting on their demonstration plot and basically they are planting two crops, that is two main crops. The first main crop is maize and then the second one is sorghum. We expect that it will be a short rain season, though at times uh, the trend changes. But the crops that we have um, advised that they plant are drought escaping crops. Sisi tuna uh, lima vitu ambavyo uh, ni eh, zinasuia ukame ama uh, madhara ya mazi, uh, waribifu wa mazingira. Moja wapo uh, ya mbegu hizo tumefurahia sana inaitwa sogam. Uh, gadam. Hii uh, mbegu inatusaidia sana katika kutuletea mazao kamili kwa sababu inastamili ukame. Hivyo tukipanda tunapata kitu kidogo kwa sababu mazingira inaendelea uh, ikiharibika. Nayo na ukame inaingia katika sehemu hizi ambazo hatujawahi kuona uh, kwa muda uliopita. Kuna mimea zingine ambazo tunachanganya nazo kama sire sinatambaa chini hizo mimea basi tena inaongeza uh, 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 mapato kwa huyo mkulima mwenyewe kama mimi hii miogo naona vile climate, climate ina change tunaona inaweza inaweza tunza watu kwa sababu mahindi saa zingine mvua hakuna mvua sa zingine iko kidogo tunapanda ina mvua inaika inakatika njiani kaijakuwa lakini miogo inaweza nini inaweza kaa bila mvua mvua ikija tena iko tu kwa kwa njia inaendelea nimepata mazao kwake nime kwa nikitumia cuttings nimeuza nimepata nimeuzia watu zile wanakula hii miogo ni nzuri inatumika kwa uji, kwa sima na kwa chakula pia. Farmers were taught on soil fertility and water conservation as a way of making them cope with climate change. Hapo ni chumbi hii. Mayo dore penye. Ema cha mti yogo eloso chiemo. Ema cha mti yogo eloso sana. We have known how we can make even the compost to help us maintain the soil pH. We have also learned soil sampling. We have learned the soil, types of various soils, like the clay soil, loam soil, sandy soil, and the humus. We have learned what should be done when you want to test the acidity of the soil or the alkalinity of the soil. We have gone as far as learning even how to test a soil, that is soil sampling by using the soil pH meter and even the soil bag. We have so far gone up to the shamba to see, to do the practicals on how to do the soil sampling. We have done it practically and the garden that you have taken the soil for test has given us 6.5. That is good for the growth of beans. Four and six point five. Five. Six point five one. What we enjoy? Yeah. Koro mane pH They also train the farmers on agroforestry. They train. They have been training the farmers on other technologies like um, compost making. After the training the farmers are supposed to carry out demonstrations in, on, on each and every intervention. Because all these, all these things have been talking about their interventions. And each intervention, after training, 
unless a demonstration is done, the farmer may not know that what am I supposed to do. With the groups that we have carried out that tool, we have realized that there is uh, a, a kind of uh, achievement in that they have moved from the vulnerability and uh, they have moved towards uh, resilience. That is now showing an indication of a positive change. Hello? To expand area of coverage, the project partnered with local organizations, for instance, CMAD and AEP in Hoba Bay County. In the partnership between AEP and GIZ Aki, we call it Aki to us, uh, started sometimes back last year. It has lasted for almost one year now, where we were targeting 25 farmer groups. And uh, we did agree that uh, we'll be able to carry on with uh, group trainings and we'll also be able to enhance uh, demonstration plots for the conservation agriculture with the farmer groups. And so as an organization, we had 12 uh, group facilitators who were visiting these uh, groups at least twice in a month. Through this partnership, we are able to, to boldly say that we can be able to talk about conservation agriculture with a lot of confidence and if given another opportunity we can even do it much better because this was a pilot. Conservation agriculture has been found to help farmers in areas where rain is not enough. The land is very important and you have to make use of it. By making use of it you have to make it be cover crop have to be there and minimum or zero tillage that one you have to do within the samba so there are some cover crops such as dolicos uh, uh, mukuna lab lab that one you have to plant in your samba to add fertility and organic matter it prevents soil erosion you, are, you know at first, if there is no cover crops in the soil, soil erosion is there. Because when the rain drops, there, there is a soil erosion there. But when there is a cover crop within the samba, you know when the rain drops, it drops on the cover crops. And the soil just remains as it is. There is no any samba which I plant, I do plant without any cover crop. You cannot weed all the time. What you can do is only... Uh, you can use herbicides. We were advised to use some equipment, such as salo weeder. In this partnership, we are promoting cassava production. Right at the moment, since the project started last year in March, we have been dealing with uh, improved variety uh, multiplication. So we have established multiplication plots. We are working with farmer groups. In total, we have 13 farmer groups uh, from Rangwe specifically Luaho location and in these groups there are individual um, multiplication sites being managed by the farmers themselves. Within a multiplication site we have a total of 260 farmers that we are working with directly in multiplying cassava varieties, the improved cassava varieties that we source from, from curry. Tumekuja kupenda ukulima wa miogo sana kwa ya o mabadiliko ya hali ya hanga hiyo ni climate change ili ili tusaidia kwa njia gani tulikuja kugundua siri ya kwamba miogo tunapolima miogo tunapata mavuno mazuri na hata wakati hakuna mvua miogo ukishaipanda ukiipalilia vizuri mwogo haina shida yoyote Tumejitosheleshe kwa sababu kuna aina ya mimea atu kuwa tunapanda miaka mitano iliyopita. Sana sana watu wa AP wame introduce aina ya kisasa ya miogo. Ile tunapanda kila mkulima sasa hivi hako na shamba la miogo kwa ajili ya food security. 
Insurance against weather risks is an innovative strategy for farmers to adapt to climate change, but successful insurance market development is linked to customer trust and satisfaction. Farmers need to understand how insurance products work. So if the weather station records below normal, it is known and the farmers can be compensated. If the weather station records above normal, which means it is also too much for the crop, it is also known and the farmers who have registered with that scheme can be compensated. Kilimo Salama is a program that was started for the purpose of assisting farmers when they insure their crop in case there is a crop failure. It was initiated in 2011, that is when really farmers started uh, registering, and it, that's the year we had that crop failure. In that year, farmers insured, uh, the farmers who bought certain varieties like the um, Sidco, Sidco maize, like uh, Duma 43, Simba 61, Pondamulea, those are the first initial cereals that they were insuring. But initially they extended to other crops like uh, the, the other seed, seeds from other companies like Kenya seed uh, varieties, which were also included. To support the sector, the project focuses on insurance literacy campaigns for farmers and also supported the Kenyan government to develop an agricultural insurance policy. According to the training, it was something which was very beneficial in terms of agriculture because we may plant, we may do everything and at this stage you may predict something that you will get at the end of it. But due to bad luck and the weather, you might find that the drought may, 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 may occur and everything may go at a loss. So with the agricultural insurance, we were able to be assured that even if you try it the way we are trying and at long run you find that all has not gone well. There is something you can compensate either to help you be at the position you are or to get you back the seeds which you use when planting. The overall goal of the project is to enable farmers, farmer groups and other value chain actors to adapt to climate change. Most climate change adaptation projects experience challenges in measuring the impact of their interventions. To respond to this challenge, SCCI developed a methodology labeled TRAC, that is Tracking Adaptive Capacity. TRAC is participatory and a useful tool for assessing climate risk vulnerability and for monitoring progress and impact of interventions. <laughs> In these areas, farmers have been able to get a harvest, even in severe weather. Without a doubt, farmers will continuously need support with knowledge and skills to adapt to the changing climate. Na tumetumia marifa, yale tumetawa kwa watu wa GIZ kupitia SCCI, wametusaidia, wametueleza kuhusu vile tunaweza kumbana mabadiliko ya hali ya hanga. AIC Watch more agricultural documentaries at www.youtube.com forward slash AIRC video unit.